Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight by taking a live look from our sky cam over US 127 in East Lansing. It is slow going for some drivers tonight on US 127. It looks pretty good right there, though. That's north of where all the construction is. The slowdowns are not bad, but just to the south, there are some backups, and that is because the Michigan Department of Transportation has started work on its big US 127 I-496 project. I'm Ann Emmerich. Good evening. All right. I'm David Andrews. Thanks for joining us tonight. This latest phase will be a major reconstruction of more than three miles of US-127 from I-96 to I-496. News 10's Tania Jordan out the car right now. She spoke to the Michigan Department of Transportation to find out some alternative routes for people who drive this busy stretch. Hey, Tania. Hi, Ann and David. We're on US-127 heading northbound, and as you can see, traffic is actually moving just fine here. Um, it looks like we've missed the congestion and the backups that they were talking about from the um, evening and morning rush hours. Um, as you can see, uh, there's still some construction cones out here. We're not, we're not seeing any drivers right here, but we did just pass a few. So it's still the best, um, your best option to slow down and move over when you do see those vehicles. Um, as you can see, there was someone trying to avoid some traffic there. Um, according to MDOT, limited lanes along I-496 and US-127 near Trowbridge Road cause congestion for driver, drivers traveling southbound. And then going northbound, those traffic jams are caused by a reduced number of lanes starting at Dunkel Road at high volumes of traffic entering the freeway just in that area. Starting today, uh, our contractors are out there putting in the new temporary pavement markings um, that'll um, be directing traffic um, throughout the season. It's that season, so it's to be expected. You know, you kind of, with the weather goes, you know those orange cones come up like tulips around here. Autumn Weston owns QPs in downtown Lansing. She says she welcomes the construction because the roads need it. Let's be honest, it's our biggest headache in Michigan. You know, we've been complaining about getting it done, so it's getting done. We just have to be patient. Weston also says her customers stuck with her through all the hoops, like COVID-19 shutdowns and parking enforcements. Trevor Block, one of the city's transportation service center construction engineers, says a lot of on and off exit ramps are closed. He has some alternative routes you could take to avoid congestion. If you're heading southbound on 127 um, and you're trying to get west into the city of Lansing, you're going to utilize the Howard Avenue um, exit and take that down to the 496 on-ramp uh, and head into town that way. Block says if you're traveling east, you can take Howard to Kalamazoo because it's open. With the closures on northbound for uh, Trowbridge, we're utilizing a detour for the for the whole year. We'll be sending everybody up to the Saginaw Street exit and taking them over to Harrison and back down over to the Trowbridge. And you can head over to MDOT um, on their website. They have some of the best ways that you can avoid some of this traffic and the detours. You may have noticed the crossover lanes between I-96 to I-496 last fall. That was done to get prepared for this latest phase of um, reconstruction. That's according to MDOT. For now, reporting live in Lansing, Tanaya Jordan, News 10.